Oh no! What happened? Did my laptop just shut down? I need to finish my assignment in three days. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Net. Net. Can I borrow your laptop? And so, <sighs> finally my work is done. I should return this to Natalie after this. Oh my gosh. But first I need to clean this laptop first. <sighs> but how? Sophia. Hmm, what is it? Do you know how to clean the laptop? How to clean your laptop? Hmm, I'm not sure. But you know what? The other day, I saw Stephanie made her own cleaning slime to clean her laptop. I think you should ask her. Hello, Step. Hello, Dedre. How do you make a cleaning slime to clean your keyboard? Oh, you just need 8 ounce of glue, 1 tablespoon of baking soda, food coloring, and 4 teaspoon of lens solution. Oh, okay. Thank you, Step. What we got today? Ding, ding, ding. Let's make some slime. The list of ingredients are stationary glue, baking soda, food coloring, contact lens solution as an activator, a bowl, measuring spoons, measuring cup, a spoon and a pair of hands the first step is pour 8 ounces of glue then add 1 tablespoon of baking soda add in few drops of food coloring mix everything while adding few teaspoons of lens solution After a few minutes, start kneading the slime using your hands. And that's it, the slime is ready to use. Mm -hmm. Let's test on the laptop. <sighs> Do your thing. Now, the laptop is clean. Ned, this is your laptop. Thanks.
Slime is neither a solid nor a liquid. Slime is a non-Newtonian fluid, means it does not follow Newton's law of viscosity. Newtonian fluids, like water, can only change from a liquid to a solid by affecting its temperature. Non-Newtonian fluids become more liquid or more solid when under force. The key to slime consistency is polymers. What are polymers? The Greek origin of the word translates to many parts. A polymer is a long chain of molecules containing many repeated parts. Seed, wool, and DNA are all examples of polymers. In slime, the glue is a polymer. The glue is made up of a long chain of polyvinyl acetate molecules. Glue flows because these chains slide past each other somewhat easily. For a specific example, consider the chemical reaction that produces classic glue and borax slime. Two solutions are combined to make classic slime. One is diluted screw glue or polyvinyl alcohol in water. The other solution is borax in water. Borax dissolves in water into sodium ions and tetraborate ions. The tetraborate ions react with water to produce the hydroxide ion and boric acid. Boric acid reacts with water to form borate ions. Hydrogen bonds form between the borate ion and the hydroxide group of the polyvinyl alcohol molecules from the glue, linking them together to form a new polymer, which is slime. The cross-linked polyvinyl alcohol traps a lot of water, so slime is wet. Adding borax solution or sodium tetraborate dikehydrate dissolved in water creates borate ions. These ions help link the polymer molecules from the glue in process called cross-linking. The cross-linking process results in the polymer molecules no longer being able to move as easily, resulting in a thicker substance, slime. Cross-linking does not create a solid because the borate ions connect the polymers together using weak ionic bond. The bonds are strong enough to hold the slime together, but weak enough to make the slime easily moldable and not solid. These bonds break easily under pressure, giving slime its stretch.